Good morning, folks. Get ready for a boom at the end. But you know I lost a day yesterday. The record cold struck our pipes and it was a day of mopping, wiping, cutting, fitting, soldering, and insulating. Learned a lot in one day. Anyway, I'm going to see if I can match that learning experience for you here. Starting with our stars, we find that the coronal holes are still dominant. The plasma filaments facing Earth have remained stable, and the active region is dimming. We do have one plasma filament released to see. It was over the incoming limb, departure, and trailing flow outwards. Let's get back to the weather. Record cold, record snow. Well over a thousand cold records broken in just one of the days of this outbreak, which pushed eastward yesterday, and on its southern reach, pulled down a tornado in North Carolina. Brutal damage, and it was a brutal spread of seasons to this system. Worth noting that Moscow is also taking a good deal of snow, not quite as cold, but vastly more powder. Harvard has come up with a longer story to the end of the dinosaurs. They say it's far worse than the 12,000 year cycle, and it's a much longer millions and millions of years cycle, driven when comets interact with Jupiter, get flung close to the sun, break up due to the sun diving passage, and a piece of the comet hits the Earth on its way back out, and then drives all the other disasters thought to come along with those events. While this is not unique, and it is on a cycle, luckily, we're not due up for this one for quite some time. More on the scary cycle we are due for in just a minute. But three observers sent me this story yesterday, and wow how cool it is, literally and figuratively. Deep life under the ice crushes standard theories on the limits of life, but wildly expands the breadth of possible places to find living organisms on other planets and moons. We are jumping way, way out to space next, just to slap the Lambda Cold Dark Matter model once again. Another early galaxy refusing to behave like an infant and challenging its babysitters to understand how it learned to act like such a big guy at such a young age. Hashtag cosmic timeline problem. Let's let the birds bring us home to our slate of top stories as they all hit Earth's magnetism. In this one, birds are so in tune with the field that getting blown off course by a storm is no big deal. Earth's magnetic excursion, probably a significantly bigger deal. And we're coming to a selection from EPS, Earth, Planets, and Space. They went absolutely nuts last week with the magnetic field model papers. Took me a number of days to get through them all, and the next generation of magnetic field models for Earth is now being made, put together, and they are indeed taking into consideration numerous things the observers wish they had done before. Most importantly, we now get to put 2015 on the list. They accurately identify that a break-off weak spot is not due to core mantle boundary flows. We had said that was the case for the entire South Atlantic anomaly. But most importantly, this is the first paper to report and identify another anomalous change in the secular variation in 2015, following the well-known geomagnetic jerk of 2014. We knew an acceleration occurred in 1859, again sometime around 2000, and at the Pacific sector above the LLSVP in 2017. We now know there was another one in 2015 at the South Atlantic Anomaly. Folks, if that disaster playlist link in the description box below the video doesn't work, just click my name, and on our channel page you can easily find those playlists. If you're not up to speed on Earth's ongoing magnetic change, let's just say fiction writers are out of a job. Reality is becoming far more interesting. Who's ready to live in a disaster movie? We greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. Subscribe because we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.